Hey guys, I am kind of freaking out right now. <laughs> okay, so this is my first time using stone coat resin. And I love this gold that I'm getting. This is a mica powder, just like one. Let me just keep doing this because I... So I'm mixing in a little bit of extra resin because I had some more in the cup and I know I needed at least five ounces. So yeah, I'm freaking out. So that's the metallic black. This is the metallic white. I had it mixed up, but I just had more in my cup, and I'm like, uh-oh, I need to have at least five ounces, and, and an extra ounce, I played it safe to add an extra ounce, and I had more in my cup, so I think we're good. Okay, here goes. My very first time, here's my cup of my resin. I just did half and half. And we have 45 minutes, I guess, working time, so I'll calm down a little bit. <laughs> anyway, I got my stone coat, applied half equal amounts of the resin and the hardener. And then I have the real teal metallic. <laughs> The black metallic which maybe I should have put a little bit more black in it looks a little gray maybe I should have put a little more in now the white metallic is more like a frost it's not real real white it's more like a real transparent white okay because I learned that from mixed media girl and then because she said on our beginner video she has that we could use fingernail or uh, any type of a, even eyeshadow. Well, these are holographic glitter powders. Okay. And I bought them from Amazon for my nails. So you can see it's gold through there. Well, I use this gold instead. There's, this is a little more on the chrome, darker bronze looking. But I use this powder. It's the same stuff. I was surprised because I'm like, oh, goody. I have that nail chrome stuff that I used to do my nails with. And, you know, so we won't go into that. Let's start. Here I go. Oh, I just noticed this canvas has got a little nicky nick. It's right here, too. Oh, well. All right, Cherry. Here you go. I'm nervous and what should I do first I don't know I'm just gonna go for it guys cuz yeah you know I don't know <laughs> it's funny how you could well don't want it to be wasted, you know. So yeah, I'm going to scoop out every little bit I can here. All right. And it really just has a little tiny smell, not not at all bad at all. Good smell. Okay, here goes the black. Yeah, maybe I should have added a little more mica powder in that one. But I did follow her. Couldn't really tell from her video exact. She said 1 in 10. 
So I think what she meant was one part of the mica powder, ten parts of the resin. Okay. White. It doesn't feel hot. Well, I got two cups. I watched her on that one too, so. Funny when you use something you've never done before. Funny, funny, funny. I think, I don't hope I used enough teal. Just put some on the end of the stick and filled it up the same way she did. So, I hope so, guys. We'll see. Okay, then she said to heat it up, and I got me a heat gun. Let's see how well this works. I'm going to put it on high just to see if it blows it. Oh, look at the bubbles popping. So that's cool. And I don't want to do it too close, but I want to get it hot. Now I'm just going to test it on high. See what it does. Oh, it will blow it a little. So, yeah, now I'm just heating it up so it'll flow. I feel how hot that Oh, that sucker is hot. <laughs> Pardon my French. I don't know if I better not go too close or too much maybe because she did say it does okay so I could use my hair blower too but I'm gonna do this first it's so glittery it's pretty maybe I did too many squiggles do want it to flow nicer though. I want it to squiggle. I mean, kind of blend. Like hers does like cloudy. So we'll see here in a minute. And I'll use the hair blower. It seems to be working okay. Sure, it's beautiful colors together. Oh, weird, nervous. She said, just kind of blend in your sides, right? Yeah, there. Oops. Okay. Let me see what the hair blower, let me see what the heat gun does. Up close. Don't worry, oh yeah it does. Well, she does it. Pretty cool. Okay. So 
So maybe, I don't know. Let's see what this does. Just have to do a little more resonance. Thing. It's pretty. A little different, that's for sure. She's watching this afterwards. She's gonna freak out. Like, oh no, what'd you do? Well. What are those little crunchy things in there now? So it's very floaty, fluidy. And then there's like some kind of chunks. Maybe I dried it in that area. Okay, she'll tell me though. That's pretty though. I don't want it there. I wanted to give it some. But what are these things? Maybe I didn't mix my powder good enough or something. It's all good though. It's pretty. Okay, I'm digging it. I'm not sure what those are. I'm not sure, but I'm good. I'm just going to spread around my sides a little. I'm done. And I think it's pretty. I think I went too wild with the zigzaggies though, like with the making stripes with my paint. I'll learn though. I'm going to come down hard on myself on this one. Pretty. Colors went good together. <laughs> no, I just wanted to try that blower too. Just to see how it blew. I was just experimenting my first time. So, yeah. If you guys that are used to using resin are going, Oh no, you did it all wrong. Hey, that's my first time. Give me a break. <laughs> I just wanted to see if it would blow. And it did. It gave it some more swirl. Maybe I did it right. I'll find out. My sides look good. Feels good. 
feel sticky now. Okay. So let's take a look at it. <laughs> it sure is glittery looking. That's pretty sparkly metallic. Even that gold of that stuff I put on there worked out really good. So I wonder how it looks with the light on it. See, it's just those little areas, but maybe that's the metallic. Maybe he heated it up too much there or something. I'll find out, though. I think maybe next time I'll do a little bit more of the black. Alright, so it's looking good. Yeah, maybe I didn't mix my mica powder in enough. Because there's like a you know little chunk of mica powders. That could have been it. All right. Now you need a torch. That's it. I know how why her <laughs> her heat gun got stuck. Cause yeah, it gets all over your fingers. So just to go over it. I don't see any bubbles anymore. I think I got them all enough. <laughs> and I don't want that flare because she said it will blow up too. I will put Mixed Media Girl link in my description because I am mentioning her enough here. Well, it's going to flare, so I, th I don't see any bubbles. I think I got them all out with that heat gun. I do not see any bubbles. All I see is a, just maybe a little bit like that one darkest area right there. I think that's the mica powder. So yeah, maybe I didn't stir that in good enough. Scrape the bottom. and Other than that, it's pretty neat. So there you go, guys. My first resin. And I dig it. What do you think? Let me know. And if you've done resin before, let me know what I did wrong. Uh, if I did anything wrong. But yeah, I didn't have to put the hair blower to it. But I wanted it to kind of do that cloudy, you know, effect. So I think that was okay to do after heating it up instead of just tilting you know I kind of spread it a little I think it's beautiful so but this is like a little blockage right here and that must have been from the mica powder yeah it's like uh, a chunky piece of, yeah like you're not mixed in well enough. So I think that's what it was. Next time I will mix really good. So yeah, it just kind of keeps coming off the ends a little. All right. There she is. I think it's pretty. Uh, hopefully it dries pretty nice. I did equal amounts, so we should be good. Okay. Sorry I'm freaking out on you guys. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to post this video, but hey, why not? It's pretty. And it's my very first time using it, so I really, you know, it's all good. Alright guys, have a good one. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this one. I think it's pretty. Especially with that gold. I'm glad I had that. Glad I remembered those.
you know. And the sides look good too. Everything's covered. That stuff does level real nice on its own. <clears throat> Stone Coat's a good product. There's no doubt about it. And there is no strong smell in this. Not at all. Just, I don't even really even smell anything. Anyway, it looks pretty any, every way. This way it don't matter. Hey, thank you for watching. Bye bye guys.